There are some chemical reactions that are quite exothermic. That means that they evolve a lot of heat. And so when we take reactive chemicals and mix them together, they tend to favor, they tend to move towards less reactive compounds. So in this bottle, I have a mixture of two gases. One is hydrogen. Does anybody know what we use hydrogen for? One use of hydrogen is rocket fuel, right? If we want to launch something into outer space, we burn hydrogen and oxygen in rockets to get, generate enough energy to launch a rocket out of the Earth's atmosphere and beat the gravitational field. The other gas that is in here is also a very reactive gas. It's called chlorine. And so in here as well is some chlorine. Chlorine you're probably familiar with. It's the smell of bleach. And chlorine is very reactive as well. So both hydrogen and chlorine are quite reactive because they don't really want to form bonds together. So hydrogen, hydrogen bonds, H2, the structure of hydrogen, that is a relatively weak bond. Chlorine, chlorine, in chlorine, that is a relatively weak bond. And so when we break two weak bonds, now we're going to make two strong bonds, one between hydrogen and chlorine, and a second hydrogen chlorine, we're going to make two molecules of HCl with much stronger bonds. So when we take two weak bonds and break them and make two strong bonds, overall we get a lot of chemical energy out. And you'll see, demonst we'll demonstrate to you how that chemical energy can translate into mechanical energy as you watch the bottle. And the twist here is, we're Burn. used to seeing reactions like this lit by a flame. We're going to do it with light, OK? We're going to make light. The light emitted by the magnesium, burning magnesium strip is going to cause chlorine molecules to break apart. Point it. Just be careful, Paul. Look, yeah. maybe not like sort of more like that yeah. way. Okay. Or that oh, way. That way's good. Oh, I have to let it light it again. OK. OK, we're ready to go. OK. <laughs> Now you so in that reaction, we had a massive release of energy, which blew the cork out of the bottle. And we don't quite know where the cork went. Yeah, if Has we anybody seen it, it the cork? Good. It would be good, because this has got HCl in it. 